What's up guys, welcome back to 5 Sin No Ripping Lips Outdoors and today's gonna start part two of the raccoon skin caps. Alright. Uh here's what they look like. Today is Saturday. I started this Wednesday. So I did the first video on Wednesday and this is the third day I have these salted out. Um now the next step is that's full of salt water. You put half a pound of salt to every gallon of water and I have two and a half gallons in there so I put roughly like a pound and a half I don't think it matters if it goes over more or not but I gotta scrape these guys clean and then throw them in there and then that's that's pretty much it for today so it might be a short video I might combine parts two and three but um yeah that's pretty much it I'll put you guys on time lapse and Hope you enjoy. I didn't realize how um, how quick this video is gonna go by because that's the end product right now that they're all desalted all that all I have to do now is just throw them in the salt water and this little guy but yeah so just take that throw them in and then you take these shake them out a little bit because there's still some salt in there and just throw them in the water and then last one shake it out just throw it in and then I got this stick here that I was mixing it with just poke them down that's pretty good I think uh, just make sure the leather side is going to be pointed down in the water. Uh, and you're supposed to let them sit here for six to eight hours. So, what time is it right now? It is 126. So, I'm going to give it roughly seven hours. So, I'll come up around or I'll come back around 8.30, take them out. And now if it's like, this is for fatty animals, but if it's a fox or something like that, you put them in the salt for no longer than 15 minutes, surprisingly. So, yeah, I'm gonna, part two is gonna be pretty long, I guess. But this is it for now. I'll see you guys in six-ish hours. So, talk to you then. All right, we're back. So, it is now, hold on a second. Is now 801 and I've been letting these go for about seven hours you can't really see them because obviously the lighting's not good but within those seven hours Connor Connor's brother and my friend Joel who probably will soon be in a video we went up and checked the traps and it was raining but nothing in them so it's kind of been disappointing lately because the last thing I got was that fox. But um, hopefully pretty soon we'll catch a coyote or something. It's, like, obviously it's us. We know they're up there. We hear coyotes all the time. We see them sometimes. But it's definitely us. We're first year trappers. Not surprised. But I'm probably going to switch up some of our tactics and maybe switch some of the traps around. Because I moved a few of them. But we're probably going to move more. Anyway, that's a whole nother different story. But the next step for these guys is I have to take them out and I have to put them back on that pole. And you have to scrape them again to get, you want to scrape them off so that the hides thinned out basically. That the thinner the hide, the better. And there's a bunch of stuff that's on there that the salt probably took care of and all that. 
And then after that, I have to give them, I have to rinse them with dish soap like Dawn and warm water to get all the grease out of it. And I don't know if I'm going to get to that step tonight just because I have to go do registration for next semester's classes. Uh, probably around 10, not 10, 12, but we'll see how far we get tonight and I'll set you guys up for another time lapse and hopefully you'll enjoy, but I'm tired. I don't really have any energy left right now, but I still got to stay up for four hours and I got to do this. So I guess I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So I just got done um I'm so tired I don't even remember what I was doing. I just got done uh skinning the hide well not skinning, what's the word they use? Hold on. I just got done thinning the skin. That's the word I was looking for. I'm using all the salt right now that was on the ground to soak up all the fat and stuff and I was actually really surprised when I saw how much fat and stuff was still on them. The first one you saw me skinning wasn't that bad. The second one you saw me take a few breaks in between because I don't know what that raccoon was eating, but that fat was not coming off easy. So now I got to just wash these a few times with soap and water, Dawn and all that. And I'm not going to tape that because it's just washing the hide, but I'll pick up the camera tomorrow because... All right, but I'll pick up the camera tomorrow because after I wash them with raccoon skins, you're supposed to wash them twice because of how fat and greasy they are. So I'm going to end up washing them twice and then I'm just going to hang them up just like that to dry. And I'll come back tomorrow and actually start the tanning process, which I don't know if I showed you, but this orange 
tanner thing that has the tanning hide formula in it, which there are ways to do it yourself, but again, it's my first time, so I want to have every advantage I possibly could, and using that is going to be a really good advantage because that's actually made the tan hides. But, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning, and this is all probably going to be one big video. Uh, no, you know what? After tonight, I'm going to call it, and this is going to be the end of part two. And then part three is going to be actually tanning the hide and doing all that. And then part four is... Alright, that was my dad. But, um, yeah, after I wash them, I'm going to hang them up like that again. Let them dry overnight. Not completely, but... Alright, anyway. Again, I'm going to go wash them, hang them up to dry like that. I'm going to put newspaper underneath to to absorb all the water and stuff. And then I'll pick up tomorrow which is going to be the start of part three so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i know it was kind of i know it was kind of like ongoing and the same stuff over and over but this is what you do so i wanted to make it all one big video but that's going to be like 45 minutes and there's no point of it so this is probably going to be a four or five part series and hopefully you'll enjoy it i'm even though it's my first time i'm still having fun obviously I love doing this stuff or else I wouldn't be doing it. So anything outdoors I love doing. But Connor too. Again, he couldn't be here tonight. That's fine. But hopefully he'll be here soon. So I'll see you guys tomorrow in part three. Thanks for watching.